trend I'm seeing this year is a maturation of the market. What we're seeing is a discussion around risk and a discussion around return and what investors are getting from their products. And so what I mean by that is we can have a very detailed discussion about infrastructure debt, you know, with lower return but regular return. And then we can also have a more detailed conversation about a core plus strategy. I would definitely say that infrastructure debt has become its own asset class. Investors have looked to infrastructure debt to provide duration, to provide a fixed income alternative and to provide less correlation with other parts of their portfolio. So what we've seen, particularly from the insurance companies, is a huge migration into this asset class. And uh, we, we've seen four billion raised just in the last couple of years. And I think we're gonna see that continue. BlackRock just created a real assets group, which is the merger of infrastructure and real estate. And so we formed a $30 billion platform. The reason behind doing that was in response to investor demand and conversations we're having with the market. More and more, and I'm even finding this at the conference, the people that we speak to are also people that have real assets on their cards. So the inflation correlation, the duration, the fact that these are real assets, you know, where real things happen to them, is really, uh, is really important to investors. And so that's why we've, we've, we've brought the groups together. The thing that I've noticed the most at this conference is just the internationality of the people that are here. This is such a global asset class, but really having everyone in one place and, and literally bumping into them as, as you walk around, is, is, it's, it's been amazing.